So, I toy next then for the Ferdinand Dufresne Novices Chase. It's a grade one over two miles and five furlongs. The top one is Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Sutherland. The Machine also for Joshua Sutherland. Alger Flyer for Martin Leedham. Balance Spin Out, Ryan Costello. Creaking Pecan for David Robertson. Kentucky Fried for Leon Van Rinsburg. Made to be strong, Craig Beckwith. Powder Gamba for Craig Allen and Volcanic Eruption, Leon Van Rensburg. So, small but select field, and away they go. And made to be strong in the white sleeves. Looks like it's going to be the leader, but Alger Flyer on the inside also got an interest in the lead. They're all safely over the first of the 19 obstacles to negotiate in this novice chase at Oitoi, and it's made to be strong in the lead from Alger Flyer in second. Then Creaking Peak in his third, then The Machine and Kentucky Fried. Pounded Gamber after that one. It's a short one to the second, which they're all safely over. Oh, I'm feeling quite a few of these will maybe have preferred a three mile race to a two mile five furlong race. It could be quite interesting. Uh, made to be strong is in the lead over that little path from Alger Fly second. And Creaking Peak in third as they get to the third, which they once again all safely over, although Balance Spinel was a little untidy at the back. Made to be strong in the lead and a good five lengths clear as they come to these railings. Strange. Oh, there's a faller there. Volcanic eruption's gone. So, Leon van Rensburg, of course, obviously didn't like the um, railings. Not the sort of thing we normally see on British courses, of course. But they like to put some odd things in some of these French races, bunks and things. And that uh, railing there will have come off as a bit of a surprise to many. And then they're going to take another one there. And another faller as well there, Powder Gamba. So, you can see these horses are not used to these obstacles. And it's already taken two of the horses out and two horses from top yards as well although to be fair most of the horses in this race are from the top yards as they take the seventh and they're all over that one okay with made to be strong in the lead leading by about three lengths now to creak and peak and in second the orange jacketed alger flies on the inside the machine on the outside that's the leading four there's a big gap then of six lengths to the back two or the back three are hope springs eternal and kentucky fry with a further gap back to the back marker balance spin out they're racing now towards the eighth, which they all get over, including the back marker. They're all safely over that one. They're well strung out now, then, as they come down towards the ninth. And they've still got a mile and a half to go, and they've still got a lot of fences to take. And the leader went right through the top of that one, made to be strong. The machine is now taking much closer order in second. Alger Flyer going well in third, then Creaking Peak and back in fourth. Hope Springs Eternal and Kentucky Fried have now made up that deficit on the leading four and are virtually together with the leading group now the back marker balance spinel is out of shot and it's probably somewhere adrift as they take this small water jump and they're all safe never that one good jump at the back by kentucky fried but made to be strong is still in the lead from the machine in second and then alger flora and creek and peak and together as they take the 11th which again they're all over we're going to see balance spinel are we yep there he goes not that far behind and made to be strong is the leader by about Three lengths to Creaking Peaking and the Machine. And Alger Flyer on the inside. Gap of a couple of lengths then to the yellow cap of Kentucky Fried. As Hope Springs Eternal just pushed along a bit. Alger Flyer didn't jump that one all that well. And has now dropped back to fourth. But made to be strong is in the lead. But only by two now to Creaking Peaking second. And the Machine third. And Alger Flyer fourth. As they get to the next. And they all jump that one really well. Especially Kentucky Fried. They're all over that one as well. That comes really close. Bit of a double there, of course, and past those railings, they've already taken out two of the runners. But Creaking Pekin has gone on now, then Creaking Pekin by three quarters of a length and into the final six furlongs. Made to be strong, he's going to try and battle back as they take this big looking ditch. How to fly over it nicely in third, then the machine and Kentucky Fried Hope Springs Eternal is now out of shot. Balance Spinel is tailed off. They come down towards the 16th, this Grand National type fence, and over that one they go. And made to be strong, he's in the lead again. Alja Flyer has moved into second. Creaking Pekin on the outside, though, he's regaining that position. Then comes the machine, who looks to be going well. So too does Kentucky Fried, but only got four furlongs to make up this deficit this is the third last and over that one they go made to be strong jumps it really well now how'd your flyer comes through to challenge creaking peak and is there in third here comes the machine and hope springs eternal it's racing now towards home they're swinging towards the home straight now and with three furlongs still to go and two fences to jump and made to be strong is still in the lead from how'd flyer and creaking peak and here comes kentucky fried then the machine i think we can forget the rest they're coming down towards the final two fences in now made to be strong takes it in the lead good jump though by how'd flyer and how'd flyer 
first into the lead now strongly pressed go by Ken took his right Freaking Beacon back in third the machine yet to make a move made to be strong looks beaten over the final fence they go and Alger Fly gets over it in the lead from Ken took his right in second it's Alger Fly into the final furlong with Ken took his right getting closer with every stride Alger Fly is in front by half a length they race into the final half furlong Alger Fly is still holding on and Alger Fly begins to pull away now. The machine's running on, but Alger Fly is going to take him. Alger Fly is the one that can took his right in second, and the machine and Gruden Beacon and Major Strong. And then Hope Springs Eternal, and finally, Balance Spinel. So, a win for Alger Fly, who took a Group 2 earlier in the season, and has now taken a Group 1. And. The surprise in the voice of the commentator is because the commentators won. It's Alger Flyers, the winner for Martin Leader. That's me. Kentucky Fried for Leon Van Rensburg, second. The Machine for Joshua Sutherland was third. Creaking Pecan for David Rawson, fourth. And Made to be Strong for Craig Beckwith was fifth.